Okay, so I have what I think is the absolute best weapon for damage in Minecraft Dungeons. But not only is it the best weapon, I think it has the best enchant rules possible on it. And I'm here to tell you guys why. So as you can see in my hand here, I've got a double axe. It's only 107, it's not 108. But the enchants on it are really good. I got this weapon from doing the Soggy Swamp speedrun for the obsidian chest. You can go watch one of my previous videos if you don't know how to do that yet, which I will put in the card right now if you want to go check that out. And the reason this double axe here is so good is not only does it defeat mobs when they explode and it has a spin attack, I also got fortunate enough to have double radiance on it with Swirling. Now you may wonder why I have double radiance. Radiance has a 20% chance to spawn a circular area that heals all allies within it, which includes you and that's almost 700 health per proc. Even though it's only 20%, if you have two, that's 40%. That's almost half of your hits that will proc with Radiance, which is really overpowered, which means you can stand in huge groups of mobs and not worry about dying. You'll just get healed up over and over. And even though you already spin with this, um, swirling is so good because uh, every three hits you do a full spin that does an extra 2012 damage So this is pretty much increasing the amount of mobs that you can deal a ton of damage to Which is why I think it's very overpowered and then comboing that with one or two mushrooms Makes it so you can attack a lot faster and then if you combine mushroom With a strength pot that you pick up you're literally tearing through mobs now I'll go into a map to show you how that works. That way you can see the weapon in action. Now like I said earlier, I got really lucky with which enchants I got on it. The only thing that would make this better was if it was a 108 over a 107. So this is 100% my mobbing attack. But watch how, see how fast I can tear through all these mobs? The spinning is just completely overpowered. And I just had a level up there, which was nice. And as you can see, without the mushroom, it's really slow, which is why I run double mushroom in speed. So I can um, tear through these mobs super fast. And when one mushroom cools down, I can pretty much always use another. There's only a little bit of downtime. But I also really like having that speed to get around um, when there's no mobs nearby. And like I said, I can pop another mushroom. And then the other one's going to be be ready when this is down. And obviously you can see how often Radiance procs. It's pretty often. It's that gold thing that shoots out from me. And then as you can see, those explosions come out when I kill a mob. See? So if there's other mobs around that you haven't killed yet, it'll do extra damage to the mobs. I'm going to try and find a strength pot. That way I can show you guys how it works with strength as well. Alright, I just got a strength pot, and now you can see how quick I can actually tear through huge chunks of mobs. It's literally unstoppable, I just like, I literally tear through them. Nothing can get in your way when you have um, both a mushroom and strength prop. Boom, they're all dead, just like that. Holy cows. It just tears through them all. Oh my gosh. It's literally not even fair. And another level up. So yeah, if you're gonna run this uh, map for XP, like I showed in one of my other previous videos, make sure you try and grab an axe like this, cause you just tear through them and you can get levels like it's nothing. Now, even though this weapon is so good against mobs, it is not nearly the best weapon for bosses. And I'll just show you how good it is against bosses anyways. But if you guys want to see the best bossing weapon video, let me know down in the comment section below. And let's just start tearing into this guy. Hopefully we get good ratings procs. And like I said, it's not terrible. But obviously there's better weapons that are like single target that hit really fast that are more ideal for this boss and we're just about done here let's just finish him off and we're just about done there we go nothing good that's okay but yeah that's about it for this video i know it's a pretty short one 
If you want to see me talk about the best weapons for bossing, whether it's a bow or a melee weapon, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.